We're going to follow John's light antics. Huh? No, no, no. I'm just letting it dry before I go to work. I've got it. Because the smallest piece is causing it. Yeah, you got a woot and a hello for the uh, for the the fire, Charlotte. I don't know if you heard me. I did not. Yeah, yeah. It says uh, looks fantastic. Yeah, as regards to the red. Oh well, thank you. Just had a thought. If Bo gives Karen a piggyback ride, is he then a Beaumont? 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 Beaumont. Beaumont. <laughs> Beaumont. <laughs> Boo Mountain. Boom. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, she likes her head. Boo is a beautiful mountain. But I'm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. That's a nice hair. That is beautiful hair, huh? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, that's a bitch to paint the hair. My, my hands are clean. Did you need? Did you need? Uh, I did. Them? I no. I deburritoed them. I haven't touched any lead at all. The only thing that I would be concerned about is the burrito sauce that got on them. Right, yeah, she had the latency. We're gonna have to deal with that. So, but that. So, if you wanted to see stuff in real time and talk about it so that it matches up with what you're viewing, this is where you start. Looking good, man. Sometimes. <laughs> Never said my humor was good. <laughs> Can you grab my phone? I just need a picture off it. I need to see something. <laughs> <laughs> There's a U in humor. Um, two U's. Two U's. It's not that Amazon yeah, box right Dragon Fire Chocolate. Hard left. <laughs> Are we joined with, by another Canadian or is this? Uh, no, he's an American friend of mine. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know. So. I got a, a friend of mine that streams the games with my Tug Bobo channel. And, uh, you just call it Tug Bobo? Yeah. Tug Bobo. Because I stream from a tugboat. Tug Bobo or Tug Bobo? Bobo. Bobo. Yeah. Okay. Tug Bobo is <laughs> Yeah. Tug Bobo. I don't know. I don't think it is, actually. Bobo, Bobo. But it doesn't have a ring to it. It doesn't roll off the tongue like Tug Bobo. I think that is. B-A-U? No, not that. No. Bo T. McBoatface. Bo T. McBoatface. No, I don't think that is. That's, that's too spelling. Much to type. Yeah, that's a lot to that's type. Too much to type in to get Tug Bobo is. Boom. E A U X Bo. I think that's taken. That is taken. There was a Dork Lords with an S already taken, so I had to do Dork Lords with a Z. I say Z because Z can be misconstrued as something else. So I've been saying Z a lot because people know what Z is. Because you got Canadian, I asked you. I, you know, the thing is, I deal with a lot of Canadians, so they say Z too. A lot of them do. Some of them. Yeah, the band Zed Zed Top. Yeah. Zed Zed Top. Zed Zed Top, right. I can't understand what a zebra, a zebra crossing was. It's like, what's a zebra crossing? I didn't know they were saying zebra. Yeah. So I was like, this is probably like 10. What's a zebra crossing? Like, why did I call it that? It's a thing in the road. We pronounce it zebra in Canada. <laughs> zebra, zebra in Ireland. Oh, okay. And they Her had, mom's like, Irish. Ah, and, and like I, they kept saying something about the zebra crossing. I was just like, hey. oh, son of a biscuit. <laughs> zebras cross there. Did you know they have zebras? Made stripe of lines where you cross. Yeah, yeah. It's a cross black <laughs> It's a crosswalk. It's the American street. Oh. Tug hobo. You thought it was tug hobo. I would have like, figured out. <laughs> I would have figured the out. Zed. I would have figured out it was the Zed thing, except for. I didn't know they were trying to say zebra because we just call it the crosswalk. That was just we just yeah. lost. I was lost in this. Oh uh, no. So yeah, I'm I'm the only one on Twitch that streams from a tug. Oh, Whether it's the Dork Lords channel or on the Tug Bobo channel. Again, I, I think you you heard me earlier. I, yeah, I was talking to you about that at length, oh, ad nauseum, about this one being the formal art channel and the other on the game channel. Gotta redo it. It looks angry. No, that, looks very that angry. Piece in the 
Here, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the red for now. Let's go ahead on this. <coughs> so Adam's putting together stuff. Yeah. We, we missed a piece. Yeah. It's the wheel of crawl. Like, look, I got the wheel of crawl over here. You know that crawl thing, that saw that he throws? One of these pieces has that wheel in it. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? This one is symbols. No, that's the wheel of crawl. The glaive. So Dragonfire called it a glaive. Would that be correct, John? Would it be called a glaive? What? <laughs> oh, the oh, in the crawl movie, it was called the glaive. The thing that they threw in crawl, right? It's John, called that the glaive. Works. Does it? It's not super fruity. Um, yep, okay, good. Thank you, Dragonfire, for that. How do you remember that? Like, I, <laughs> I barely remember the plot of that movie. I just knew he threw like a like a, a weird Indian saw thing. Yeah, okay, I am too. I'm a definitely an 80s kid. I remember the, the premise of the movie. It's like Beastmaster. I remember a lot about Beastmaster because I watched it like 40 times. But I only watched Crawl but like three times. When the red is in there, so that dark, that it's you know, gonna, it's gonna darken up. Dude, Beastmaster yeah. was the jam, dude. Like I, I wanted when I grew up, I wanted to be the Beastmaster, right? I mean, just imagine it without the light around it. What are we doing? You love the Beastmaster, dude. Okay, that was the best. Can you take that. And I'm going to. Oh, um. That's some good movie yeah. stuff right there, man. Beastmaster. Safety glasses. The glasses of safety. PPE. Where is the PPE? John, is it on your head? No. Uh oh. Did you leave them at the dinner I place? I don't believe I took the glasses over there. They might be under there. I'll go check near the room. Oh no, the Beastmaster sequels were horrible. What? And in, yes. If they're in that first. Amazon box, they're mine. Uh, use them. Use them, use them. We forgot the ear. PPE! Oh, we forgot the year? That's what you should do. That's what you should do is explain this creature to him. Well, it's like a, it's like a cat, but it's not. And then, and like have him draw it based on your description. Oh, that would be good. But do some odd animal. So we're gonna, that's kids. Let's think about this animal. I'll pair them up. One kid describes it, and the other kid has to draw it. But the other kid doesn't know what it is. Right. So you see that as a and then you're gonna come up with medieval animals that way. Yeah. So, you, so Elizabeth is a, an art teacher from middle school, um, grades six and seven. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. Okay. And uh, which are basically your 13 and 14 year olds. And uh, so we're talking about exercise. How do you like the lions look goofy? And, People say, well, why do they look so yeah. weird and, you know, goofy? It's because, like, if I were to explain to you, I want you to draw this thing, and it looks like it's got a head. It's sort of like a cat, but it's not a cat. It's bigger and more muscular. Uh, and you're like, okay. And it's got a great big head of hair. And then, but it's got a kind of a flatter nose than a cat, more like a dog. But then, you know, you, you go to this description, so try to draw it based on the descriptions without saying what it is for the kids because, you know, they, they can look it up or they know mentally what it kind of looks like. Well, these people had no idea. So using the descriptive words of the day, they tried to draw these things. Like elephants look really weird. Oh, yeah, like in medieval illuminations, how they did. Like, I mean, they yes. Think about the, like, so the original jackal. Yeah. Yes. Right? So they called those a Theo back a theo. in the day. And right. they thought they were cloven hooved and had, like, multiple colors, but it was just jackals. Okay. Well, that was weird. Sweet. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Esau will be here in a little bit. He's gonna. We're gonna stream from the uh, Art Studio Twitch. Brush. One second. Channel. Which brush? Hey, I need that brush. Yeah. Like really quick. I, I think he needs to like. You'll have like spots where he can hook in, right, for audio. 
Yeah, but it's only going to be certain parts of the audio. I'll let he'll he'll just gonna talk to you about it. Yeah, we we, we did we worked together the last time. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So yeah, so I mean, can you, so like same with her exercise with her students. If she does that, I'm sure the animals will come <laughs> up. Any of those other batch of brushes, real quick? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Or just yeah, or just wacky. I was explaining to him like compare to the anime. Oh yeah. Ah, yeah. Because some there you go. Not, I mean, yes, yeah, some of the elephants and things look really wacky because the person just is like, it's a big dog and the nose is really long. Yeah. But some of it's just like, like, like that's it. That's it. Somebody does somewhere on it. <laughs> so I bet so. But Kayla, I got it. Hey. Come here, come look at this. I think I figured it out. Yeah. yeah. So now you see how that eye's dark and it pitches back. Yep. So I'll do a slight remove here, except okay. I'm not going to do stick lighting. I'm just going to use a, uh, <laughs> a finger know. a little bit, just a little bit off. And then I'll put a little bit of a highlight on it. And that should give us what we're looking for. And we're going to do from about half back. We're not going to go any further forward. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that sound right? Do it. Does that sound right? Do it. Okay. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. What? Right. Almost drop it? No, before we started firing. Oh, what happened? We forgot the ear. Oh, the ear? Yeah, that would have sucked. Okay, and this is going to blow, but there's no ways around it. What's up? So it's kind of uh, coming together, guys. in the middle of the fortress before it's dry. Can you straight? Still... I got to redo it. Yeah, I'm about to say, can you redo it? Or... Yeah, I can redo it. I just, that's the only option, though. That's the suck part. So you're going to be doing lead solder fills tomorrow, is that it, to get all the pieces? Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, we'll be sampling the windows and putting it together. Um, now, putting the window together is really just a one-person job, so uh, if we keep the camera set up, uh, three of us just might keep fidgeting and playing around. And Taking turns? Fun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're doing other side projects? Um, it doesn't have to be anything. We're just going to tinker, I mean, because we're three glass painters who sort of come together. And okay. So what was on this project today, I thought maybe tomorrow, because it's a one-person job. That's because I'm not a glass painter. Oh, you're not? Three glass fingers came together. I see how I am. Three that I'm looking at came together. <laughs> so, dumb question here, but is there a method to the madness before turning the light box on and off? Yes, I'm trying to see what I'm doing on the glass, and when I have the glass backlit, it will lie to me. So, I need to see exactly what I'm doing with the paint, and I need to know where the paint is, and so I can get it on and off in a very organized fashion. Okay, there you go, Dragonfire. Right, and he's got his ear. Oh, he's just been hit in the head too many times from okay. fighting. There's that. I feel, like I feel that sometimes. <laughs> a little cloudy. Just you know what, this, this, is, this is going to be green. That's going to end up being yellow. Yeah. Yeah. It does. I mean, it's obviously brighter. It's a different color altogether. Nice. Thank you kindly, he says. I assume a he. It's a, did you paint it? It's red. Is this yours? Uh, yeah. Okay. I like it. Good brush. It's doing what I want, though. Uh, it's doing what I want. That, uh, where's the other one? It's, uh, is that it? That one is not. That one's big. That is not the case. No. So in the picture, it's got a little bit of color. Little bit of head in the big old body. It's, it's, it's just the straight silver stain. If you want to take it blue, it's, straight silver yeah. it's, the, it's not green. Oh, it's it's green. Green. I guess it's cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, that's a hake brush. Oh, okay. I think that'll, I think that'll achieve it, don't you? Yep. Okay. Yeah, do it. Um, this one's a hake brush. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's good. So, uh, the hake 
brush is a nice, it's a wide flat brush that we can use for putting down the base coat. Uh, they're inexpensive, they can you know, put up with a lot of uh, use and wear. I'm going in tighter. Uh, let me know what's going on. Turn towards me a little more. That's nice. Right there? Right there, yeah. Press what? You want to put a breakaway layer on this? Breakaway layer. We, we could. Um, we could. There's no reason why we could. It would really complete the piece. Breakaway layer. Do you want a breakaway layer? Okay, so, uh, and then you go. Thank you, Austin. Um, here it is. Into the window, nice to meet the window. You're going to see um, white glass around the edge. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, so like break it up and all. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, if you have so much glass, uh, how cool we have that there. Not that it needs it, um, but I think having that extra border down will polish it off nicely, just an extra layer. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What was that you just took out? This is the place filler? It's over here. Yeah. Hey Charlotte, yeah. where's that? Uh, where's that firm deer foot? The what? The firm deer foot. That is the firm deer. Is foot. it really? Yeah. You want my uh, hot air brushes? Um, give me a moment. I'm gonna nibble. I'm gonna nibble you. Come no. here. Let me no. let me nibble. No, no. At least. No. Use one hot air. Nuzzle a little bit. Try that. Want a little nuzzling? Here's oh, this is the finer one. I know. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that wasn't bad. You okay? You, you okay? Are you okay? Sure. Charlotte, uh, did you need to take a photo of your uh, test case? Ah. Okay, where? Can you, can you bring your head over here? Uh. Your pretty little head. Dork wife got to see you. your demon head. I want to see your demon head. Show me your demon head, baby. Show me the demon head. I know. I got you. Yep. Better? Yep. All right. Nice. That's it. That's what it was. I'm in the right direction. Okay, so what do you want to do? So what do you want to do? Um, just clean up the edges a little bit more. Just oh, on the just on the outside edge. No, no, no. I just on the uh. Oh, on the inside, on that. You just take it out a little bit. No, no, I got you. I got you. No, no, no. Not the chart. Oh, you want to do the chart? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Snap. All right, so, um, hey, Michaela. Yeah. Uh, this is where you need to be. 
I got to I got to finish this fork real quick and we're done. I just Uh, hey, if you got any questions, cut in this. Just ask me any other. Make sure it's loud enough for questions so that the microphone can hear you. It's hot. Yeah, 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 go ahead. This is my favorite. That's going to be the truth, you said. You're getting the same right now. Right? You're going to take it, put it in the kiln, and it's going to fire for about eight to nine hours. Okay. That's where it gets to turn. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that's how that was done. Oh, yeah? It's so hard. He's over at San Marcos. He's the closest one to you. He knows the thing. What's the thing? I'm going to push it. Sorry. Yep. Ready, John? Sir. Good idea. Verbalize your thoughts. You guys that are working here on light too. Just verbalize your thoughts into the into the ball. Sure. And uh, so sweet ball. So sweet ball. Yeah. And, uh, I'm here. Hold this. Hold this. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I am painting this military fort. Trying to get all this done so we can get this thing in the kiln. We're running a little behind. Uh, I've messed uh, this fork up. Public service announcement. We're on this account and cord right in the middle of the wall there. Oh. Just be aware of it. Doctor, I'm just looking. And so what I'm doing is uh, trying to get this all finished up so we can get this stuff in the kiln. I continually mix my paint. The paint's constantly separating. Uh, you have to pay attention to this because if you don't, the paint will start to fight you. And that is no bueno. That will make your life really hard. Constantly going back, reactivating the paint, mixing it, nurturing it, pulling it back into the, the work. I'm drawing the paint out. I'm not going back over the same areas I've been uh, been over. Um, I paint it and move on. Uh, you've got to do this work relatively quickly, otherwise uh, your flooding won't look right, and you want a nice even um, even tone to everything. So you want to move with purpose and get it done. And there's your military fork right there. God willing, creek don't rise, that'll work. So we'll take this off and move it over here. We got a military fort. All right. So that's the last piece, I believe. Was I that ass in charge on that? All yep. right. Yep. So now what we're going to do is let that dry. As soon as that dries, uh, we'll get it over to the kiln. We can actually get over to the kiln now. But... All right. Let that dry for a minute, and we'll be back.
To feel important? Sure. I'm sure. Really. It's <laughs> super early after like. Oh, it is. Got, well, I mean, it's 6 o'clock and y'all started at what? 11? Franklin the Pestilent Demon. What? You don't have those pustules and everything over on the ground. They green pustules. I, I saw the uh, uh, tiger sharks on bars. You're not sticking around for band that? Hey, do you have a. I need a. I try to tell her to stay. <laughs> I, need to I, I need a band card. You need a band pass? No, a card. Like, like who's, who's playing? Oh, oh, um, flyer, maybe. You'll have I, might, I might have it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll look. I mean, I can send it to you through your messenger. Yeah, do that. Okay. Do that. And that way I can get. And like, are they in order? No. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? And yeah, then we can sign it. All these brand bands have been. Okay. Because how many do they have? That I mean, that's not my bag. It's like in between, like when they're doing. Uh, it's not like when one band's doing sound checks, we can be interviewing one other band. So. You know, 10 minutes at interview sets. I mean, it's not. No, they're going to be super pumped about it. Okay, good. All right. And for guys that are, you know, like band, band, what do you mean band stuff? So uh, we're going to switch over here in a little bit whenever this goes to the kiln um, here in um, what, maybe 30 minutes or so? Or less. Uh, we're going to go ahead and. Okay. All right, we're going to look for somebody to raid here in a little bit. And uh, then we're going to come back on tomorrow morning as dork lords but uh you're hearing a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the uh there it is we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the art studio inc that's all one word the art studio inc no punctuation just the art studio inc i'm gonna do a shout out real quick and we're gonna have a band night music and performing arts uh category in twitch this is where we're gonna be Oh, no space. No spaces. Oh, wow, it's not typing anywhere. It would help if I put it. Yeah, there, put the cursor in there. So we're going to do a little shout out again. Let me try it again. The art. The, oops. Oh, my gosh. My keyboard is acting a fool. For, hey, for Dio. What's up, man? Thank you. What are those little guys? Like the weird um, monster playing the butt trumpet. Wow, look at this. Check it out. Oh, yeah. We got some butt trumpet. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that host, Fordio. Appreciate that, man. How you doing tonight? Are you are you gonna be streaming games in a little bit or what? Thank you so much for that host. Try to uh, make that faster. Bye bye. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'll be back on tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, just kick the camera. We're gonna do the construction part tomorrow. All right. Here, let me try this again. There it is. Shout out time. The mugs are blocking the signal from going out. It's crazy. All right. Out of the back, right here. <laughs> 
there it is. Go ahead and follow that channel so you get notification when we go live, probably in about an hour, hour and a half. We're going to be interviewing bands between sets when they're doing sound checks. And uh, we'll be hearing some good live original music. Zero YouTube strikes. Hello. Let's go. Shout out Art Studio Inc. The Art Studio Inc. We're going to be doing that here in a little bit. Yeah. INC. So, uh, guys, if you don't mind, go check yeah, it out. Back. It's going to be cool. It's going to be all punk rocky. Fun. I guess you guys are going to want to head straight to the house, grab something to eat, right? I'm going to be sticking around here. Yeah, I'm going to be with, um, with Isai. We're gonna, I'll come home whenever that's over. Uh, I'll see if you're going to go eat with you. Right. So I'll, I'll, be, I'll finish that up, come home, and then uh, whenever all of us come back to the construction, then I'll come back, you know. Peace. 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 Hell yeah, man. Peace. Peace what? <laughs> We're not done yet. <laughs> In fact, let me go throw it on John right now while he's doing the finishing touches. Go throw him on cam one here. Bloop. Sound effects are very important. Bloop, bleep, boop. There you go, John. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots. Throw down that EDM, buddy. Throw down that EDM. That's it, baby. <laughs> Disco stained glass. Medieval style. <laughs> All right, so we uh. And that's and that's Adam on TikTok. <laughs> Only the kids get that joke. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna move your camera, John. playing with tuning forks. <laughs> hey John, do you still need the... Um, How's that look? Do you still need the... How's that look? Oh, I like the way you did that. Right. I like that a lot better than just the, the way it was. Yeah, yeah it gives it a little bit more depth. Right. Cool. Totally. So what I've done here is I've done a little shading on the, the military fork to give it a little depth. It's now going to look like a little bit more three-dimensional, so it'll give it a little bit more of what it needs, if you will. Um, and I think we're ready to go to the film. We got it? Hold up. Let me switch over, man. Let's take a look at this. Are you going to place it for a photo op? Or are you just, uh, no. Still, these are still Drying? Bad. Okay. So you don't want to... Give me a second. We need to go ahead and go to the kiln and get the kiln paper in. Sure. And by the time we're done with that, this will probably dry and we'll get a good picture. Okay. Definitely. And Adam is having a glass like a big dog and getting that mortar set up. Right on. We're going to need um, scissors to get the paper in. Skizzers? Uh, you need skizzers? skizzers? Hmm. I'm sure there's some somewhere. Some skizzles? Do you have any, do you, you have them in your toolkits? Alright. I do not have scissors in my toolkits. Um, How coarse is that? Greg, do you have any fiber fact scissors? Regular scissors to cut it? Well, I didn't know if you was like, these scissors are for fiber fact only. Yeah, <laughs> right. I just use that. I use that. In the breakaway. I don't have scissors. They were experimenting with how to make fire. Okay. And he was like, well, it came out with a big green gooey mess, and the guy like, he said, well, maybe let's 
they're trying to find a way of buying it here. It really is. No scissors here. We need to find some somewhere. Um, Okay. We got it, man. All right, so let's go ahead and put the film cut this out with this nonsense on board. Uh-oh, somebody said something. Come on, you're supposed to be to use customer's fabric. Yes, use the, use the fabric scissors for that. That's what Richard's saying. Well, you send those gingers right on over and we'll take care of it. That's what yeah, I heard. right. That's what I heard. You use my fabric scissors. Cut rope! <laughs> um, in the business, we call it line. <laughs> Cutting construction paper. Yes, sir. Greg. So, uh, so guys, I think we're pretty well done over here on this side, right? Yeah. Anything you might want to add, Michaela? Or? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna raid somebody. Raid? Yep, we're gonna raid somebody. So it's just the same width as the lure. With this on the outside. So I did like this. I think um, I haven't been to Indiana Broad in a while. He's a really, really brilliant and talented uh, digital artist. So we're going to take our crew over there and uh, say howdy. It's been a while since I visited him. We're going to go ahead and raid that guy. Good guy. Really nice guy. 
very talented. Again, digital media mostly, but uh, takes all the classical and traditional styles and implements them into the digital format. Really, really good. Really good. He'll take if you got like really good armor picks of yourself. He'll he'll draw them for studies. <laughs> I know this firsthand. So let's go ahead and take it over to that guy. Cool dude. And thank you everybody for hanging out today. We really appreciate it. And uh, again, we'll be on tomorrow, hopefully around ten o'clock. Just uh, if you follow the channel, yeah, the follows are free. If you follow the channel and look for a notification, we should be on sometime around 10 a.m. Um, it all really depends on what the kiln is or how the kiln runs, how the kiln goes, how it fires, and so forth. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate it, Dragon Fire, and we'll see you uh, We'll see you tomorrow. So thanks a lot, guys. And uh, with that, I'm going to hit that raid button, and uh, we'll head over that way. Really do appreciate it. Oh, the band's cranking up, man. Look out. It's going to get loud in here. I hope I brought my... I did bring earplugs. All right, guys. So thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. God bless and good luck.